guys what is up welcome back i'm talking kind of low because tabby's sleeping um but happy pre-easter week i guess i want to say no crumble like usually for holidays the week before and then the week after they have holiday themed cookies so this is their easter lineup and then maybe next week they might have something else for easter so we got four cookies i wanted to get six cookies but the lemon one um they ended up not having it at my location and then the chocolate chip one i didn't want to like get four and then just get five like i would prefer to either get a four pack or a six pack so because they didn't have the lemon i didn't want to get five cookies so we skipped on the chocolate chip unfortunately and we skipped on the lemon i'm sad yesterday they actually had the tres leches because for some reason my location has been having like uh, one or two special cookies every week. Like they'll have one from the previous week, but then they'll have another one. And so they had tres leches, but that was yesterday. And because I'm filming on a Tuesday, they don't have it anymore. So sadly we could not get the tres leches and we couldn't get the lemon and didn't get the chocolate chips. So we only have four cookies, but I chose the best four from the week and obviously the new one. So we could try that for you guys. And then the Easter theme ones I tried. And of course this one so we chose the best one so let's just get right into it so i don't have my daughter's phone with me um i don't have Bree's phone with me so i can't read the descriptions but i'm gonna do my best to just you know go by from memory what i saw on the crumble site and then we'll just do it like that so this is the new one this is the strawberry pretzel pie somebody just pulled up next to me um it's a little awkward i was still trying to get over that when somebody like parks next to you but it's all good so this is the new one this is chill the strawberry pretzel pie i don't remember what the base is but basically this has pretzels all throughout it it has a whipped frosting I think it's like a whipped cream cheese frosting, but it looks really light. Strawberry puree and then more pretzels on top. So when I saw this, I was like, I don't know how I feel about it. I didn't completely hate the sounds of it, but I didn't know how I felt about it. But it looks, I mean, it looks really pretty. I don't know, like, I don't hate the sounds of it, but I just don't know how I feel about it. But I heard people said they liked it. So let's just try it. And I have not eaten all day and we only have the four cookies so there's not going to be a lot of cookies left after I film this and I'm going to try to save a good bit um mm. oh that's good wait a minute Let me get the pretzel. Mmm. It's not too sweet. So, like, it doesn't have that real thick cream cheese frosting or not even, like, a buttercream. It's just a nice, very, very light whip frosting. This is good. It's light. You could absolutely eat the whole thing because it's very light with the whipped cream frosting. And then the pretzels, it has a really good flavor. It's very buttery. I think they did say that the base had like a buttery, a buttery ingredient in it or something. You guys, I am impressed. I didn't know I was gonna like this one. I actually think I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10, you guys, I'm impressed. It's light, it's buttery. This is really good for spring. This is so cute. If you're getting these cookies for Easter, definitely take this one. This is good. I'm going to give it a nine, you guys. Next up, an OG at Crumble, the double fudge brownie. So this is just a brownie cookie, basically, with chocolate ganache or like a glaze and then brownie bits. Let me try a brownie bit. I always love their brownie cookies and their double fudge brownie is always a little better than their regular brownie. It's like just a little bit more going on. It's like the brownie 2.0. Let's try it. Ten. Ten. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Look at that center. And these real brownie bits on top with the semi-sweet. Any brownie cookie from Crumble is always going to be tied with the semi-sweet. 
and also most of their cream cheese frosted cookies is also tied with the semi-sweet they're always good but like i said you have to eat them warm because they're just not the same this one's a little bit salty i mean the brownie cookies are not overly sweet but the thing about them is they can be rich so if you don't like chocolate you might not like it this one i think my crumble made it wrong because it tastes a little bit salty which i know that's not right it's not supposed to have a salty flavor so my crumble i think they put too much salt in this but most of you guys when you get this cookie it's not going to taste like that so don't worry so if you love chocolate and you love brownie stuff you're going to love this this is always a 10. next up is chilled cookie so this is the sugar cookie featuring cadbury cream eggs so this is just their vanilla sugar cookie um if you guys remember back in i think 2022 when they were thinking about if they should get rid of the pink sugar they did actually have this plain vanilla sugar cookie on the menu sometimes they were doing like every other week i think before they just got rid of it all together and so this is just their vanilla sugar cookie with i think vanilla buttercream frosting and then the cadbury eggs so let's try one of the eggs Hmm. I love the Cadbury cream eggs. They're so good. I actually don't have any Easter candy yet. I have to get some. And I still have it in my mouth. Now let's take a bite of the cookie. This is definitely, I want to say, probably the sweetest cookie out of the whole lineup. Because even if I would have gotten the lemon and then obviously the semi-sweet, this one was probably the sweetest out of the whole lineup. I'll let you guys know in a minute which one is the least sweet. Yeah, if you don't like chocolate, I would say go for this cookie. If you um, are a chocolate lover, go for the browning. So it's nice and sweet how they have, I feel like, something for everyone. They have vanilla, chocolate, they have the lemon. I'm sorry I couldn't get it for you guys. The new one, the strawberry pretzel pie. And then the carrot cake. I didn't say that one yet carrot cake we're gonna try that last so i like how they have something for everyone i love vanilla stuff i am actually overall more of a vanilla girly than a chocolate girly but i just love brownie stuff a lot and chocolate chip cookies a lot other than that i do actually prefer vanilla stuff but this cookie is kind of sweet so i don't think everyone's gonna like it a lot of you might say it's a little too sweet but I always love those kind of cookies that crumble, though. The ones with that buttercream frosting. But I'd probably give it an 8 out of 10. Like an 8, 8.5 out of 10. Um, if I was at an Easter party, though, I probably would go for that brownie one. Because it's so good. And then lastly, this is another new one. This is carrot cake. You guys, just look. Just look. It's a literal mini layer cake. Is that not the cutest thing? They didn't put it in the tin containers that crumble had like their tres leches cake in and their cinnamon cake but they just have it in the box just plain but it's round so i love how crumble's doing this thing with these cakes how they had like the square cakes and then the round layer cake like what that is so freaking cute now this is a carrot cake it has pineapple in it i think it said i think walnuts pecans and carrots it has everything it's just not raisins and that is great because i don't really like raisins like that so I'm excited for this one. And then, of course, it has cream cheese frosting, which I love. A carrot cake has cream cheese frosting. I do love a good carrot cake. And it has, I think, walnuts on the top. Or pecans. I'm not sure what they are. But this looks so cute. I literally would recommend, like, cutting this with a knife and making, like, little cute pieces. Let's try it. I don't know how I'm going to eat it. But let me, let me do my best. Mm. Oh yeah, that's good. Mm, I think there are raisins in it, or that's the pineapple. I think that's the pineapple I'm tasting. Mm. If you're gonna bite this, you have to get a really wide 
grip on it. You have to open your mouth real wide. It's like a big cupcake or like um, a mini cake, whatever you call it. When I go home, I'm definitely going to use a fork for this. I love this cream cheese frosting. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow, that's so good. So this cookie, this is not going to be for everyone just because it does have a lot of stuff in it because that's what a carrot cake is. So if you like carrot cake, you will love this. You will give this a 10. If you don't like carrot cake, I don't think you're going to like this cookie. So this is really dependent on do you like carrot cake or not? Because when it comes to carrot cake, I feel like you either love it or you don't love it. Um, I like carrot cake, but I like it better with no raisins. So this is really good and it's very light. You could easily eat like half of this, no problem, because it is very light. Um, so this obviously is a cake, it's not a cookie. Um, and I said, I love how Crumble's been doing that. I will give this a 10. Presentation is so freaking cute. Taste is amazing. Bonus points, because there's no raisins. I give this a 10. I'm sorry we could not get the lemon cookie. I really wanted to try that, but now it's time to rate will be eight. So this week, really, really good week. Super, super festive. Definitely get a six pack, get that lemon crinkle and maybe one of the other ones in here or even just a chocolate chip. Bring it to your Easter party because this week slaps. It really slaps. Um, so the carrot cake cookie and the strawberry pretzel pie, those are the lighter cookies. The richer ones is the Cadbury vanilla sugar and then the double fudge brownie. But I feel like this week they have something for everyone. So definitely pick you up a box. My least favorite cookie, I'm gonna say probably the carrot cake just because if I'm ranking them, there's only four, so it's not that easy to rank them. Carrot cake is last just because I like the other ones better and that's it. Um, <clears throat> third place, I'm gonna say the vanilla sugar. It's a little sweet and I like the other ones a little better. So then I'm gonna say probably second place is gonna be the strawberry pretzel pie. I'm actually really impressed with it. It's light, it has a really good crunch, and I think that the crunch works amazing with this cookie. So if you were like me and you were on the fence about this cookie, I think that you should get it. I think it's a really good cookie. And first place is gonna be the brownie. I'm a little disappointed with my crumble because they made it wrong. They just put too much salt in there or something, but yours won't do that, I promise. So for me, brownie is the winner. Definitely go get these cookies, bring them to your Easter party. It definitely was a hit. And I might go back later in the week and try the lemon. I don't know. Um, if you tried the cookies so far, which ones were your favorite? Which ones are you gonna try? Which are you most excited for? Talk in the comments. And don't forget to like this video, leave your comments below, subscribe if you're not already. Have a great Easter, be safe. Bye guys.